Hello and welcome to Kalina High School for tonight's Division Three District Semifinal Match. This is the one seed and the four seed with Coldwater and Ottawa Glandorf tangling at the home of the Wildcats. Here at Vance alongside Chris Luthold. And Chris, this is tournament time. It's all ramped up. And a, every time we get together from here on out, you know it's going to be a good match. And two teams that have had a lot of success in the regular season and also through the tournament trail to this point. Yeah, they've had great seasons, both of them. Coldwater won the MAC. They tied with New Bremen. And Ottawa Glendorf, a 7-2 record in the conference, a really tough WBL. And uh, this entire district here has the talent and success of a regional tournament. Both of these, all four of these teams here have done a tremendous, and I would say that they could match any uh, division three regional in the state. Yeah, there's many, many times, Chris, in a, di in a district like this one, and there's districts in Division Four that they feel like those are the state championships right there. By who comes out of that getting into the regional just because of how loaded the MAC is. You know, you have teams down there that seem to make their way there. And here we have three of the four that we're going to see tonight representing the MAC with St. Henry and Parkway in the second game of our coverage tonight. Coldwater with the opening serve. Mia Kanapke fires it long. And Ottawa Glandorf takes the first point of the game. Let's meet the starters. First for Ottawa Glandorf, Clara Wishmeyer dropping back to serve right now. 13 to Bailey Kraus, Katie Coppin, number 21. Uh, Maya Ellerbrock, 23. Keatlin Kibbit, number 24, and Sienna Fry wearing 25. As Wishmeyer serves that one up to Fry, and she connects there to get the second point of this rally for OG. Meeting the cold water starters real quick. For Mia Kanapke, number six, Morgan Blossom game. And Jenna Ligers wears number 10. Spencer Antler is number, Etzler is number 13. Madison Wendell is 14. Kendra Clooney, 19. You'll see zero Rachel Schroyer out there as Le Libro. Well, both teams right have missed now. a serve, Garrett. Maybe they're a little nervous. Uh, could be, although both teams serve really tough. And when you serve tough, you're going to miss a few serves. Etzler with the ball in the air, and she fires an ace. First team all Mac performer in the regular season. That's this first set up at two apiece. Hetzler number two in kills, leads the team in digs and assists all around. A nominal player for the Cavaliers. Left handed attack from Sienna Fry. That one goes long. And it's two in a row. Make that two in a row, yes, for Coldwater. 14 to 9, Titans on the regular season. And a 20 and 4 campaign to this point for Coldwater, finishing the AP poll in Division 3, number 4 in the state of Ohio. A little drop in front for Katie Kaufman. Gets OG the service back. Well, the Titans are glad to have her back. She missed probably 60% of the season. She's only played in uh, uh, actually less than 30 sets so far. So, so a nice time for her to get that first kill. See, Marley Buttlemaker make Buttlemeyer onto the floor. She gets the attack right there, dug out by Etzler. Quick set for Coldwater and tipped away. Jenna Lagers with the kill. Unable to be dug out there for OG. Back and forth starts. Kendra Clooney, the senior, drops back to serve. Starts out good, met by Reese Van Ox. And that's going to go a little strong from that back row for Ellerbrock. Well, she won't hit too many out. Uh, first team all-conference in the WBL and uh, has just had a great career. Four-year starter. Mm -hmm. Well over 300 kills on the regular season, actually including the tournament also. And that one finds a piece of the floor for Ottawa Glendor. That's about a mile's first kill, and they have uh, three of their points now have come on kills. The freshman getting involved. Only, and she averaged less than a, a kill per match this year. Make that bit less than a kill per cent. Gets her one right there. And we got a whistle giving the points. Double hit for Coldwater. Now the ball has to be received with both hands simultaneously and released with both hands simultaneously, or it's a violation. So the senior, Reese Van Oss, to serve again. And to play off the top of the tape, but handled. Kanapke serves up Blossom game and deflected back and out. 
So Coldwater, after that little miscue, gets it right back. It's one way to respond. That's what this game is so much about, Chris, being able to limit those errors and bounce back when you do make them. Very true. Ligers with that serve. There's the attack from Sienna Fry. Here, Coldwater on the attack. And it's Madison Wendell. That finishes it off for the black and orange. She's the first player tonight to pick up two kills. These teams really know each other. They played twice in the regular mm -hmm. season and split, split those, each team winning once. And that loss for Coldwater to OG early in the year, one of those early invitationals. I believe that was at the spike off earlier in the year. That one drops in for Coldwater, but the Cavs, they, they started 0-2. And they rolled to a 20 and 2 record since then for the 2017 state runner up. 1994 Final Four, the storied athletic history there at Coldwater. OG with very much the same. They're going to fight up right in front of the net, keeping on going. Dug out by Ella Brock. And now Coldwater on the attack. It's Blossom game. Tipped around a couple of times. Titans can't keep it in the air. And look at Coldwater on the run. Big rally for the Cavaliers. Timeout out of a Glandorf. 9-5 of the first set. We'll be back after this on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio. By Alt, let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Serve for Coldwater out of the timeouts. Deflected by Ottawa Glandorf and turns into an ace. And now they are doubling up the Titans on the first set on that Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard. They're going to change the lineup with Bailey Krause back in for OG. And the serve for Jenna Ligers. Met by Elwer Brock, not clean, but they're able to keep it up. She goes right to the attack. Dug out. Setting up Wendell. Blocked up front by Kaelin Komet. And now a diving dig for Van Oss. Cavaliers have a blossom game. Nowhere to go there, but down in front of Clara Wishmeyer. Morgan Blasting game now has three kills. Looking at Coldwater early here, Chris. Starting to feel that momentum swing their way early. Anytime you can get that early, it's got to be a plus, especially in a big game like this. District semifinals tonight here at Kaleida. Met by Ellerbrock. Set for Wishmeyer. The swing from Fry, and it goes out. Cavaliers not able to quite contain that on the block, but a good one nonetheless. Titans, though, get it back. And Fry has two kills now. By the way, in the midst of that last point, we had a spike attempt from uh, Riley Rissmiller, and she has also missed about the first 60% of the season. So the cold water is happy to have her back. There she is there on that spike attempt. Here's Wishmeyer with the set, and a big old swing from Kevin Kinnett. Back-to-back scores for OG. Gives the right side of the gymnasium a lot more to cheer about here. And Caitlin gets her first kill. Now four uh, Titans have kills. Back to serve out of a Glandor. Here's Ligers. Swing is deflected back and alive. And gonna go out on that far side. So Claire Kreischer. Just into the game for OG before that last serve. Back-to-back -back serves again. An 11-8 tally right now. Ottawa Glendor trying to play some catch-up. A little too strong from Kreischer. The senior sends it out. And will rotate around it for the Titans defensively. Madison Bellman taps in for Kreischer. Madison Wendell to serve it up for the Lady Cavs. And the air dug out by Van Oss. And the set there is blocked by Blossom Game. Tap over the top for Wishmeyer. And it falls on down. And Coldwater wants a net 
Well, I'll tell, you, now, now I'll tell you what the argument here. Coach Etzler is saying that Van Oss was in front of the spiking line and set the ball with her fingers, which she is not allowed to do if she's in front of that spiking line. If the, if that is, if the spiker, the hitter, hits the ball above the net, and I think she has a good argument. Well, we captured it here for you. Unfortunately, they can't go to that. We don't have a replay. You know they do in NCAA volleyball. Just for us at home. <laughs> <laughs> and out of the Glendorf. Back to serve. Bailey Krause. You know, the only thing we have to uh, balance this one out is the old adage, the ball doesn't lie. And OG, they get that after the, the double hit for Coldwater. Not indicative of the previous play, but that's about all we really have to go off of. So Krause will serve again for Ottawa Glendur. Low serve in the air, but dug out nicely by Clooney. They'll set up Blossom game, goes off the top of the net. Met by Bellman, and there's a big swing for Auerbrock. Well, are they going to go her way again? They do. It got tipped away, and not a whole lot Coldwater could do with it, but they are able to keep it up and save it. Well done by Coldwater. Setting up. Etzler, and it's tipped off of the forearm of Eller Brock and out. Coldwater able to put out the little momentum for OG. Well, that was a good uh, point. Well earned. Etzler gets her first kill. Now four girls uh, from Coldwater have kills. And in the air for Blossomier. And a swing for Wishmeyer. Clara's attempt. Little shorts. Coldwater will keep the serve. So Morgan Blasting game, second team all back. That's a sophomore. Drops back here to serve it up for the Lady Cavs. A line tribe serve dug out by Van Oss. Here's Cal Coldwater on the attack. Etzler stayed up. Bellman with a nice dig there. Eller Brock couldn't land an attack. A little tap over the top. Almost danger in there for OG. Good volleys back and forth at this first set. Nice dig for Addison Bellman. They go to Eller Brock, drops it down in front of that 10 foot line, but Etzler is there. And the Cavaliers return the favor. Another good point. They'll grab the score. And a time now on the floor for Ottawa Glandorf again. And take their two timeouts in this first set, 15-10. The Structure Outdoor Ohio scoreboard will be back after this on WOSN. We welcome you back to Kaleida, first set of the first district semi. Coldwater and Ottawa Glandorf. Big hit for Eller Brock. Dug out for Coldwater and OG still going to get the points. Double hit in the backcourt for the Lady Cavaliers. Well, that's the third double hit called on uh, on the Cavaliers so far. And Ottawa Glandorf to serve. Met by Etzler. The set for Ligers, tipped over by Etzler. And just a little punch over the top for Clara Wishmeyer. Keeps, the, uh, keeps it going. And there's the size for Katie Kaufman, the 6'1 junior. Just deposits that ball right down the middle of the defensive front for Coldwater, giving OG back-to-back -back scores out of the timeout. Here's the serve in the air for Kimmett. Set for Etzler, blocked but kept up for Kaufman. Now Ellerbrock just pushes it over the top for OG. Etzler in the direction of Riley Ritzmiller blocked and it's gonna fall inside the tape. Giving Ottawa Glandorf another score. Two block points in a row. They're trying to bottle up some of this momentum as we approach the midway and closing moments of this first set. Here's the Kimmett serve, a little long near that back end, but Etzler keeps it alive for Coldwater, comes back up and just punishes that ball down 
for the Coldwater score. Wasn't going to let OG have another score out of the timeout. They had three in a row since using their second. And that ball was really crushed by Etzler. Now two kills. Etzler, number two on the Coldwater squad. And kills not very much behind Jenna Ligers, who led the way coming into the match. There you go to Etzler. Just a little bump up over the top. Etzler with the set. Deflected off and down. Maya Ellerbrock found the way. Good spin, good attack. It was just all good right there. Just her first kill today. Uh, not very often would you see her be the fifth player to get a kill from Ottawa Glendorf in a match. Sent in for the Lady Titans. And how about that kill for Coldwater? You look at Ellerbrock on the year. Before today's match, 337 kills, 856 as a team. You can't do that percent in your head? It's got to be around 40. <laughs> yeah, around 40%. It's a healthy amount. And remember, I, Chris knows where I come from and where I was math educated. And we got we to be humble in that. And, uh, I, it's I had it's a great, not the internal I, calculator I wish I yeah, had. But. I had a great <laughs> math teacher at Ayersville, uh, Mr. Marv Marshhouse, just a mm, tremendous math teacher. But I, I couldn't do that in my head, of course. <laughs> I did my my best guesstimate as Eller Brock serves into the net there for Ottawa Glandor, but the Titans still right in it. It's a third miss serve now for the Titans. And that's the difference right now in this first set. Yeah, good point. So Coldwater picks up the service, and before they do, Kira Kanapke going to swap places with Kendra Clooney. And Kanapke, the freshman, will send this up for the Lady Cavs. Leading 18-15. Ella Brock receives, set up by Wishmeyer, and a hit for OG, met by the Lady Cavs. Ella Brock met it after the attack of Ligers. There's a set for... Mia Kanapke, wow. dug out, how about that save by Van Oss. Good volley going here, and knocked out. Good hit up front by the Lady Titans. Coldwater couldn't corral it. That's a great play back there by Reese Van Oss. And she'll drop back to serve. Funny how that works. Player makes a great play on defense, gets the service back, and guess who drops back? And there, that cross court kill lands just inside the boundary off for Coldwater. That hugged that maroon line, and it's going to benefit Coldwater. I believe that was Blossom game? I think so, yeah, it's her fourth kill. Here's Wishmeyer set. Blocked up front. Eller Brock chases one down, and Van Osh just bumps it over the top of the third hit. There's a set for Blossom game. Wishmeyer back for Eller Brock, but she is big time block. Titans can't keep it in front. Well, the back row hits are hard to block because the ball is in the air so long, um, and you have to commit yourself to the block. And, and so the, that was just a great block because of that difficulty. There's the setup for Buttlemeyer. Knocked away for Coldwater trying to keep that in the air. She has her third kill now. Freshman making an impact. Here's Claire Kreischer checking in to serve for Ottawa Glandorf. And for Sienna Fry. 2017 on that structure out to Ohio scoreboard. And a tough receive for Coldwater. Jenna Langer's trying to tap that back as it was in a dangerous place for Ottawa Glandorf to hammer down. And not able to keep it in the air, and it'll be a timeout. 2018, a close contested first set back after this on WOSN.
Back and forth for set. And we are very tight near the end. Our opening set here. Cold water with a big swing from Morgan Blossom game too strong. And here we are, one point separates Coldwater and Ottawa Glandorf. One seed, four seed of this district semifinal. State ranked Lady Cavaliers. Team that they fell to earlier in the year, one of their four losses. Going for Buttlemeyer, and she traps one in. I think that's the fourth time. Already early on, this freshman has scored one for OG. That's right. That's her fourth kill. Big smile out of Marley. As Claire Kreischer continues to serve, hits the top of the net, but stays up. Down for Blossom game and just finds that weak pocket in the middle of the defense. Right in the perfect spot to get the volley back. 21. 20. And that's her fifth kill. Finding her rhythm. Really one of the top defensive players for Coldwater leading the way on offense. Here the first set. Van Oss beats the serve. They're going to set up for Eller Brock. And she hits nice the ball dig. so well. But dug out. And that's going to go wide out the back for Clara Wishmeyer. Two-point advantage for Coldwater and every point so crucial when you get down to this part, part of the set. Madison Wendell, the junior, readies for her next serve. Goes to Van Oss and she meets it well. And uh, Bellman sets up for Buttlemeyer, nothing to do there. Blossom game, a little tap underneath and they might have got her for a lift and they did. Almost. You can almost count on that every time that hand it dips down underneath. Right, and the, the whistle was blown right away, so you, you know what it was. Bailey Krause to serve with OG down one. In the air. And met by Blossom Game. Cross court set for Kanapkin. A heck of a dig by Kraus. Big strong hit by Ellerbrock. Now Van Oss ahead for Bellman. And Kimmett couldn't get it to fall. Blossom game tapped over the top and hangs on the top of the net for a moment. And that's going to go over the top and hit out the back by Clara Wishmeyer. Now Coldwater in a good spot here, up two late in the first set. And Morgan Blossom game, the jump serve. Bellman, as she's going to be pushed over the top for OG. And a Kanapke. Excuse me, Spencer Etzler, check that. The sophomore rides the rail there a little bit. She picked up her fourth kill, good time for it. And now set point for Coldwater. Morgan Blossom game in the air. And a little miscommunication for Ottawa Glandorf results in a 25-21. First hand victory for the Coldwater Lady Cavs. We'll take a break. We'll switch sides and come back after this on WOSN. Hello again from Kaleida. Set two. Volleyball District Semis Division Three. Coldwater and Ottawa Glandor. We bring in you a structure. Alto Ohio scoreboard by Alts. A structure Alto Ohio bring your indoors out. Opening a point goes to Coldwater in the second set. They took the first set 25 to 21. Here's Spencer Ensler dropping back to serve and finds a perfect spot. All Reese Van Oss could do was come out of her stance, go forward, and not a great angle to keep it up. Not a whole lot of leverage down there, Chris. No, and uh, that doesn't happen very often with her. She's pretty good uh, defensively and at receiving serve. Etzler has two aces now. Here comes the next serve for Coldwater. There Van Oss gets that one up in the air. Wishmeyer sets up Eller Brock. She comes from that outside right. Dug out by Coldwater and a big block in the front by Katie Kaufman. The junior gets those big arms in the air. 
Well, they, Shout they out really pass. missed her earlier in the season. I know they're really happy to have her back. That's a third block for uh, the Titans. That is a huge, huge block for Kaufman. Among the leaders there, but with the limited time, brings those numbers down. OG fights right back, gets another score. Maya Ellerbrock to serve this in the air. Met by Morgan Blassen game. Bumped over the top by Bottlemeyer. Had a good first set for Ottawa Glandorf. Another block by Kaufman. Uh, I think they're ruling the ball didn't get over the net. So it'll be four contacts. There's that sense of verticality, and that has a chance of bending with that net. And look at that powerful serve for Eller Brock. That's a great serve, Steve. Blocked up front. How about it? Kaufman. Set over by Buttlemeyer. And Wendell has to kind of adjust midair. They're going to underhand it for Eller Brock, that back door. Or Back court attack. Lady Titans with Buttlemeyer and nobody back there. Splits the defense of Etzler and Blossom game. Well, these points are coming on Maya Ellerbrock's serve. If you remember in the first set, she missed her only serve. And uh, she has one ace here tonight. That gives her 95 on the season. And she'll line this up once again. Couldn't quite keep that temple alive. That's the fourth missed serve for the Titans. First in this set. And a four-point set in that first. Crucial. Serve in the air for Clooney. Now Eller Brock sends it over the top. Tumbling dig by Etzler. There's a send over the top for Wishmeyer. Set up for cold water and blocked, but going to go out. Jenna Ligers take credit with the kill for cold water. That's her second kill today. Jenna Ligers will serve in a 4-4 second set. Grace Van Oss dug, out, dug that out. A block up front. Ottawa Glandorf using that size up in that front row. Substituting in Caitlin Kimmett for Kaufman. Great rotation for Kaufman. And a Van Oss serve over to the cold water end. Hit over the top by Ligers. And a kind of a falling hit by Wishmeyer and not quite going to be saved by Buttlemeyer. Wishmeyer, great job getting her form in position there. That last dig. And uh, the 6-5 Riss Miller just checked in, so we'll see how she does here in the front row. She blocks on the right side. So far, so good for Coldwater. All the attacks from OG. Here's the send for Fry, and Sienna couldn't quite land it. And they're going to go in her direction with Riss Miller. They're going to go right in front of her. How about a Buttlemeyer goes right at her. And it's knocked down and deflected off of Coldwater out of bounds. Give OG the score. Well, from here, it looked like the uh, Buttlemeyer's hit went right between the blockers. Off the arm and out of bounds. So Claire Kreischer to serve for the Lady Titans. And they're going to go out. Change for Addison Bellman and for the Lady Titans. She'll come in and set, which allows uh, Wishmeyer now to become a hitter in the front row. Madison Wendell to serve it up for Coldwater. Reese Van Oss receives. For Eller Brock, Maya blocked initially, but Coldwater keeps it alive. Riss Miller bumped over the top. Oh, she's able to dig it out. And how about that? So many different options up front for Coldwater. Find an empty space as Lady Titans get out of position with so much back and forth. 
And Blasting Game has six kills now. She leads all players. Well, she's tied with Buttemeyer from Ottawa Glandorf. Wendell serve in the air, off the top, and just enough to disrupt that spin and fall right down in front of Van Oz. That's Nothing she could do there. No, no. Well, you can't practice. You know, I've argued about this on air a lot. I don't like the fact that a, a net serve is allowed to be continued to be played because you can't practice playing against that. You know, you can't say, okay, now we're going to practice balls tipping off the net. Well, you know it's coming, so it's just impossible to prepare for. With a 9-6 advantage for Coldwater, we will step out with the timeout. Second set from Kaleida on WOSN. Coldwater with the lead out of the timeout and the serve in for Madison Wendell. Ottawa Glandorf goes immediately back to the attack. Caitlin Kimmett fires a little long and out for the Lady Titans. I like that little front slide though. She's got the layup takeoff. In other words, she takes off with one foot as she approaches the setter. I like coming out of the timeout and running that, but she just hit a little bit too hard. Here's the set, Buttermeyer. Give her another kill. She's been hugging this left side and has had a lot of good strikes on that end for OG. Gets to get a nice round of high fives heading down the bench after being traded out for Bailey Krause for the serve. Freshman having a, a great match. And look at this. Bailey Krause drops the service ace right in front of that. Back row of cold water. Well, it's a float serve, which means the ball doesn't rotate and the ball acts like a knuckleball. And I, I could tell from here that that ball just dropped off a table. Other one, and it's Clooney that receives. In the air for Blossom Game, dug out by Van Oss. Set cross court for Ellerbrock, and it's going to give the point back up to Coldwater with a double hit on that set for OG. And Blossom game with a three-point Lady Cav lead and goes right at Bailey Kraus, goes down and couldn't pry that ball up into the air. That is the seventh ace serve for the Cavaliers. Here's the Blossom game serve. Goes to Van Oss, received by Wishmeyer. And Kimmett sent it down. Here's Exler on the return. Hit up and gonna go out. A little too strong from Clooney. That dig went right back up over the top. And that could be trouble. But Coldwater a little too strong on the return. So OG with the point and the serve. And Kimmett sends it into play. Exler has it blocked up front by Kaufman. Going to for Riss Miller. Now Coffin just bumps it over on the third. There's the set in the middle for Kendra Clooney, and she drops it in. She's got two kills now. Number three attacker on this Coldwater squad behind Ligers and Etzler. Mia Kanapke, freshman serve. Goes up for Coldwater, a nice adjustment by Van Oss, but she couldn't keep it in play for Wishmeyer to catch up to it. Well, she did a nice job just to get underneath that thing. You always pass the bottom of the ball. That's what you teach. She did a nice job doing that, but uh, she on the run, she just wasn't able to control it. Another ace for Coldwater. There's a kind of a missed pass for Kaufman, but Ellerbrock bells it out. And there's a black up front for Kaufman. Katie Kaufman. Getting the point back for OG. That's a fourth block for the Titans. Change in for Sienna Fry. As her spot rotates back around. Addison Bellman out. Serve of the air for the Lady Titans. And it goes right up in front of Eller Black and came back right in front of the net where she could adjust and really disrupt Coldwater in any attempt to keep that ball in the air. Lady Titans back to within three. And the serve up 
for Ligers. And how about that down in the corner, but couldn't quite get it inside the lines. She wanted to go for that back corner, trying to measure it up. I'm sure she's had a lot of kills in that back corner. Here's the Bellman serve. Excuse me, the Wishmeyer serve. And that's going to go strong again. Jenna Ligers. It's all good hitters do. Keeps on swinging. A little strong on back-to-back -back tries. And right now it has Ottawa Glendorf within one in this second set. I thought maybe Coach Etzer was going to call a timeout. She was walking toward uh, uh, the down official, Cindy Grant, but she didn't take it. Might see how her team responds. Sometimes that is always a tough feel for a coach to find out when the right time to trigger those timeouts are. And she might let her girls play and get that adjustment. And I think it made itself right there after recovering, getting the score again. And that time, Ligers kept the ball in. She's got three kills. Now all three in this set. Spencer Antler. Spencer Etzler. To serve. Rishmeyer. And then how about it? Kaufman. Big hit. Yeah, there's a little timing play between Kaufman and, and uh, Bellman. Bellman a freshman and Kaufman an experienced junior, but they probably haven't had a lot of opportunities to work on that timing since uh, with Kaufman's injury. Maya Ellerbrock, big jump serve. Gets the top of the net. That's the sixth missed serve. Three of those have been by Ellerbrock. And she's hitting the, about the same part of the nets in terms of left and right, not the up and down. Well, the last two times it's the same up and down. But Pretty much in the middle of the, is, the middle yeah. left to right, yeah. She is dead accurate. There's a lot going on there with those jump serves. There's a block up front for Coldwater's Wendell. That's block number two for the Cavaliers. Ball was set just a little bit too close to the net. Back to serve for Coldwater, Kira Kanapke. Freshman, and fires this one, a little push. Back into the left, goes out. Rotate Kaufman out for Ottawa Glendorf with Kmet. Now that they have the, the service back with Reese Van Oss. And a, kind of a too strong of a set for Kanapke, but it, Coldwater recovers. Able to find an empty space on that floor. The front left of the Ottawa Glendorf end. The serve in that time. It'll be an ace for Jenna Ligers. It's her second ace today. And now Coldwater closing in on this second set. And hits that off the top of the net. Hit up by Sienna Fry. And here's Ellerbron, that back row attack. She's going to dig it out. Wishmeyer sets up for Fry, but we got a whistle. Double hit on the set against Ottawa Glandor. And with that, Coach Miller going to take the timeout for the Lady Titans. Back in a minute, 2015 Coldwater, set two from Kaleida. Lady Cavaliers from Coldwater closing in on a second set victory. Leading Ottawa Glendorf by five. Do the Lady Titans have any adjustments out of their last timeout? They have used both in this set. And Ellerbrock attempt, and that banged over outside the antenna. Off from Clara Wishmeyer, the junior, doing everything she can just to keep that ball off the floor. But inching Coldwater closer to a set to triumph. Jenna Liger's jump serve, and nothing that Marley Buttlemeyer could do about that one. It just ricochets off her, off her knuckles and out. That couldn't have cleared the net by more than, I don't know how much, but uh, it didn't touch the net, but I thought it was going to be in, into the net. Just a real nice serve. 
Ligers keeps it going for Coldwater. Beats by Ella Brock. And a tap up over the top causes some trouble. Thanks to Caitlin Komet. Sophomore gets it back. That's her second kill. An exchange in the lineup. Bubblemeyer and Kraus trade places. Crasher also in. Serve here goes up that right side of the Coldwater D. And a back set. It's like Kemet. Yeah, the ball, it, yeah, the ball was just set a little bit too far over the net, and she really can reach up high, so she just tapped that ball down. Started to drift back her way and within her reach. Now Crasher again with the serve for OG. Trying to bring back the Lady Titans from five, six down, and a Morgan Blossom game strike lands there for Coldwater. And that's her seventh kill. Wonder if she's related to former Major League Baseball player Don Blassing Game. You think she is? I've been to Don Blassing Game's museum. And what is there? Uh, it's just a little museum to Don Blassing Game <laughs> in Corinth, Mississippi. Two to the win for Coldwater. Ellerbrock in the air, dug out for Coldwater. Over to that left end for Etzler and. Finds it right in the wickets of Maya Ellerbrock and not enough time to win Shostin. It gets bumped right down to the floor. Kessler gets her fifth kill today. Set point here for Coldwater. They took the first. Service out for Madison Wendell. And how about that for Komet? Well, that's a little front slide again, which they've done before. It's been pretty effective. That's... Uh, Caitlin's fourth kill, third in this set. Coldwater still with that set point, but Bailey Krause to serve. And sent in. Little deflection off of the hands of Clune, but, or Clooney. And it gets rattled around and falls down. Giving Coldwater the score. And a two-set lead, 25-18, the final in set number two. We'll be back with a third. Does Coldwater have enough still to keep on rolling, or does OG have a comeback in them? We'll find out when we return on WOSN. Today's scoreboard presented by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. Third set about to begin. Coldwater, the first two, 25-21, 25-18 over out of Glandorf. Here at Mansfield next to Chris Luthold. And Chris, some of the numbers that stand out, obviously the service errors for Ottawa Glandorf, but so many more got to stick out at this point for both sides. Well, for Coldwater in that set, they had nine kills, uh, but seven ace serves. And that's the big stat right there. Uh, Wendell had two and Ligers had two. They had uh, one miss serve and one block for point. For Ottawa Glendorf, eight kills, uh, two aces, but they missed three serves. They did have three blocks. So the blocking so far is favoring Ottawa Glendorf. Uh, the serving, however, is favoring Coldwater. The kills are about the same. And it's actually going, blowing both doors Coldwater's way with getting the aces picked up. There's another one. And then also the service errors by OG. You compound that, that's 14 points picked up basically for the, the, the Lady Cats. Yeah, and, I, and Coldwater's really defended Maya Ellerbrock really well. She only has one, uh, eight, uh, one kill. But I predict in this set, she's going to have, uh, I predict a very good set for her in this, uh, since she's just been held just one set, or just, excuse me, one kill and one ace. Mia Kanapke goes one for two there for Coldwater to start, and she's going to set up cross court for Jenna Ligers, but it's dug out for OG. Knocked over the top for Reese Van Oss. And Kanapke with another set for her Blossom game. Now they're going for Ellerbrock. That left side are going to be dug out for Coldwater. Wendell over the top for the Lady Cavs. Van Oss tracks down a ball over on the right end. And it goes off the back of the thumbs 
of Ligers, but Coldwater recovers. There's a big swing. I think they got tipped. Coming down for Sienna Fry. However, I think we had a net call on Coldwater. So it's going to go to OG regardless. Whichever call you would like. Lady Titans with a lead here. Early's third set. And off the top, and it just springs back. Wishmeyer for Ella Brock. Blocked, kept it up. And there, a swing for Fry and way back in empty territory. Got a lot of room to run here at Kaleida in this court. That's why having the venue here is so wonderful. And you know, I, I tell you what, perfectly placed for so many schools in this, in this, you know, maybe not in this district that we have right now after teams get whittled down, but. Yeah, this is a great place to play. It's it, it, a lot of room on the end. There's also a very high ceiling, and we've had some balls that have been passed up pretty high in a lot of gyms that these girls play in. That ball would have hit the ceiling, or at least the rafters. Serve in for Spencer Etzler, and Kaufman knocks that one down off of the back shoulder of Ligers, getting the score for OG. Now, is the back shoulder and head, is that playable? <laughs> yes, it is. It wasn't at one time, but that, that's okay now. Now as good as a foot. Yeah, which is okay also. <laughs> Here's Eller Brock. Bumps that one up. It had some English. And how about the location along that left edge? Well, as well as she serves, she might have put it there on purpose. I know the coaches give serving zones uh, to the girls, so they, uh, that would have been zone five. And she was gleaming, cracking a big smile towards her bench after landing that one. See where she goes here, back to back, goes the other end, but it's dug out by Etzler, blocked up front as Ligers was attacking the front end for Coldwater. Lady Titans bottling up some energy and some momentum in the third set. Interesting that Coldwater has a two-person serve receive here on that, uh, on that top spin serve that uh, Ella Brock has. She'll put it in the air for OG. Etzler set up for Mia Kinnapke for Madison Wendell. Now the Lady Titans on the attack. Blocked by Clooney, but it goes out. Off of Coldwater with the OG score. And with that, Coach Nikki Etzler wants a break. 7-2, Ottawa Glandor. Early stages of set three will return after this break on WOSN. Ottawa Glandorf with a 7-2 advantage in the third set. But uh, Coldwater, the advantage through the first two, 2-0. Two yeah, definitely. Uh, Titans are off to their best start. Maya Ella Brock into the net. I think every time she's turned, it's been her turn. That's how her service turn has ended, with an air into the net. But she took advantage of that last turn here. Chris really converted. She had a... An ace and also helped her team grab some points. Reese Van Oss and Ellerbrock get tied up at the back row. It's deflected out. Give Kendra Clooney an ace. That's her first ace today. Well, Ellerbrock does have almost 100 aces, but when you have a serve like hers, which is so tough, you are going to miss some from time to time. Van Oss into the air to Wishmeyer for Buttlemeyer. Take out for Coldwater. Ligers. Find some space and outflanks Eller Brock in that back end. She went down line that time. She likes to do that. She also likes to go cross court. That's her fourth kill. Versatile attacker on the outside. Yeah, okay. First team all Mac. Kendrick Clooney a diving uh, received by Van Oss. And Ricochet is off, off right. And now Coldwater eating up that OG advantage. And the timeout triggered. By Coach Miller of Ottawa Glandorf, we'll step aside as well. Coldwater fighting their way back. Four straight scores out of a timeout a moment ago, forcing an Ottawa Glandorf stoppage. 
And a long serve from Kendra Clooney. Gives the ball back to the Lady Titans. Good timeout, huh? Well timed. Yep. They're talking about icing the kicker, football, and yep. icing the free throw shooter. And well, sometimes yeah. you got to ice the, the server. It doesn't work in volleyball, though. <laughs> I, I always said because it's easier to get a serve in than it is to pass a serve. So you're kind of icing your own team. There's a big hit, but Ella Brock beats it for the Lady Titans. And Wishmeyer couldn't quite find the clearance. Hands the ball back to Coldwater. With that, no, Jenna she's Ligers. a back row player right now anyway, so that might have been a violation. I think she was maybe worried about mm. that attack. She, I think she was standing on the spiking line. Ligers serve. Wishmeyer sets up behind for Fry, and it goes a little long, hugging that back line. And the old dipsy-doo with the, the flag of the back row. Looking like it was going to land okay, but it kept flying. We're tied at eight. Ligers goes to Van Oss. Wishmeyer sets up Fry again. She keeps on hitting. Dug out nicely by Ligers. And no man's land in the middle of the OG defense. That was Wendell's third kill. Madison Wendell. There's the serve from Ligers, now with Coldwater leading by one. And yeah, that nullifies itself. We're evened up again at nine. Coldwater's missed just five serves, but three haven't been in this set. Mm. Claire Crasher in for the Lady Titans. Hits the top of the net and just has the English to roll over the top. Nothing Coldwater could do to combat that one. Back into it. Pro G. Clasher gets it up and it got a Lady Cav in the net. Jenna Ligers will keep this rally going for the yeah, blue and gold. Her foot was completely across. Uh, the net, uh, the, the line on the floor, the center line, so that's a violation. Crasher serve, and Spencer Etzler lets it, lets it fly, and it drops inside the boundary. That's three quick points for the Titans. Almost halfway to the required 25. Both teams have used a timeout in this set. Just one remaining. Etzler receives that. Liger sets up behind her for Wendell. Dug out by Ellerbrock. Ellerbrock with that attack, and it dropped in. Got that top spin. Jenna Liger's down to a knee. Could not control it. It's just her second kill today. Comes in a big spot with out of the Glendorf holding on to a lot of momentum. Crasher serve. Just lofts it a little short. Goes up for Blossom game. And Morgan not messing around, wanting to get the score back. And that's Morgan's eighth kill today. She is tied with Buttlemeyer from Ottawa Glandorf for the lead in the match. Checks in fourth in kills entering tonight's match on the Coldwater Club. Got another quick score, thanks to a Wendell ace. That's her third ace today. Lady Cavaliers. Chris, as you mentioned, co-champions in the, the MAC. That gauntlet in high school volleyball. Yeah, Versailles doesn't win their conference, and they got the number one seed in their district. Of course, that's division, uh, that's division three also. And they're actually in the other, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're in the other region even. Yes, I believe so. I think they are south. So um, I think it had it figured out that there could be three teams. It would not be a surprise if three MAC teams get to the state tournament. One in division four and two in division three, but we have a long ways to go. There's a lot of good teams in this area. 
not distant memory to see two MAC teams playing for state championships head to head even last year. New Knoxville, New Bremen, is that correct? Yes. Uh, New Knoxville, St. Henry. There we go. And St. Henry's Division Two, this, uh, Division Three this year. Lady Cavs with Blossom Games sending it up. And the Lady Titans disperse. Somebody must have thought it was covered up. Well, a little bit of husband and wife serve received there. No communication. I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> Blossom game serve. That time it's met by Kraus. Touch over the top, and we have a whistle that's going to give the Lady Cavs a little lift there for Ottawa Glandorf. And that engages the final timeout for the Lady Titans. We'll take it to 15-14. Third set from Kaleida after this. Set number three at Kalina Coldwater with a 2-0 advantage in the match. Only a couple of handfuls away from picking up the straight set victory in this district semifinal match. But Ottawa Glendorf playing so far some of their best of the night, their best the best start of the evening. The three sets played. Polly keeps going back and forth. Kraus hits it over the top, and it's a little wide. Wisely let that go. Jenna Ligers lets that fall down. And it's a two-point advantage. Morgan Blossom game will continue to serve this for Coldwater. And it's going to go to that back corner, but met by Kraus. Ligers, she sets up Etzler, and that back line judge calls it right on the corner. Well, he's right on top of it. He's got the best view, so, um, you know, you can't dispute that. And uh, Esther picks up her eighth, eighth kill, seventh kill. It's one of those spots on the floor where you have both line judges have a view down the line, and you can kind of connect eyes. Is it in for you? Yes. Is it in for you? Yes. All right. They agree. And Coldwater keeps it running. Seventh ace for cold water in this set. Out of the 18 earned. OG cannot take any more breaks. Only the Cavaliers can trigger a timeout. Right now with the momentum, they may not want to do that. Here's for Ellerbrock. Tipped at the net. Liger sets the one up for Clooney and they just couldn't get on the same page. And maybe that was even a decoy I don't player think so. rotating no, around no, late. I don't think so. I think that ball was intended to be a, a middle hit. And uh, the ball was just uh, not timed too well. But uh, Coldwater almost was there to, to pass it over. Brings to 18-15. There's a hit for Riley Rissmiller. Blocked up front by Kaufman and others. Eller block attack. Nope. They're going to go out to the left for Etzler, tipped out. Addison Bellman, the closest to it for Ottawa Glandor, brings us to just a six-point difference for Coldwater. They're back around to Mia Kanap, who starts things out with the serve at the beginning of the set. And she slings this one right in to the webbing. Well, it's the fifth missed serve in this set for cold water but on the other hand they have uh, seven aces almost two decks worth yeah yeah you got something up their sleeve there's for Ligers nobody home for OG and it's a 2016 advantage in the third set for cold water and that time she went across court her fifth kill Lady Titans They need a nine-point rally to continue their season at least another set. Here's Etzler. Just drops it 
shorter serve. Kaufman bumped over the top. Clooney saved it. They go outside left for Ligers. And a nice stop for OG. Third hit just up over the top. And Wendell down to the back row for Kraus. And off her wrist, out of bounds. 21-16, Coldwater. Second team all, Mac Wendell picks up her fourth kill. And Spencer Entler runs up and serves this ball in. Browse to Wishmeyer to Ellerbrock. She lets it fly with the Titan season on the line. And this is dropped right down in front. It's Etzler. That little tempo push up over the top. And the Coldwater faithful starting to feel the anticipation swell. Trying to punch their ticket to the district championship game. And make it regardless of what finishes in the second game, an all-MAC district final. But OG with a little left in the tank here. They get a big one, and now Ella Brock will drop to serve. Parkway in St. Henry will follow this one here at Kaleida. Stick around on WOSN. We'll bring you that one here also. Ella Brock serve. Here's the hit in the air for Jenna Ligers, and it lands. Two away for the Lady Cavs with Kendra Clooney dropping back to serve, the senior. Ottawa Glandorf again out of timeouts. Van Oss met the serve, hit over the top by Buttlemeyer. And that goes to Blossom game and they have a Lady Cav in the net. Well, I think her foot was under the net. Um, when they point down like that, the, uh, the foot was under the net. In other words, under the net and across mm -hmm. the line, completely across the line. 23-18, set three. Coldwater with, they can outscore. Ottawa Glandorf, the next handful of opportunities. And yeah, this will set up match points for Coldwater. Rotations in with Riley Rissmiller swapping spots with Mia Kinapke. And Jenna Ligers will serve with a chance to send Coldwater to the district championship. Well, they have six opportunities for a match point. Room for air. And it's in the air and into the net. So if Coldwater is going to secure their way, they're going to have to do it on defense. And OG will send some offensive help in. Bottlemeyer for Kraus. Mission to Kreischer to serve. She had a great run her last turnaround. And the serve is up. There's the set for Blossom game and an emphatic finish to a Coldwater clean sweep in the district semis. 25-21, 25-18, and 25-19. A three cent to none victory for the Lady Cavaliers. They improved to 21 in four. And Ottawa Glendorf's season comes to a close at 14 and 10. Well, Chris, final numbers, final impressions on this one. Well, serving. Uh, Coldwater had 17 ace serves in that set, three in the in that match. Three in the first, seven in the second set, and seven in the third. Although they did miss six serves in the third set. Uh, they were led in aces with Wendell with four, Ligers with three, and blasting game with four. And uh, from the, at the front row, they were led with blasting game with 10 kills, and Etzler had eight. For Ottawa Glandorf, their season comes to an end. A fine season, though. Second in the WB, third place in WBL, 7-2 record, and a 14-10 and record overall. They end up with 24 kills, led by Buttlemeyer with uh, eight. They had three A serves, and Ellerbrock had two of those. They did have uh, six blocks at the net compared to two from Coldwater. That brings to the end of Coldwater moving on to the district championship game. They'll play a very familiar foe, though, St. Henry or Parkway, both teams 
members of the MAC, as well as the Lady Cavs. And we'll bring that to you as well. Stick around for our next broadcast. And if you're going to step out for, or you're seeing this on a replay, we want to give thanks to our crew tonight. Megan Sherrick, Nick Fraley, Bang in the studio, putting it together. Lexi Waddle, Cassidy Driscoll, filming it, bringing it to you. From Chris Luthold, I'm Garrett Mansfield. Thank you very much from Kaleida. Signing off for game one of our doubleheader this evening. Coldwater advancing past Ottawa Glendorf.